It's the perpetual battle cry of rock fans everywhere. Boogie. Audiences around the world have been boogieing to the beat of John Lee Hooker for over 30 years. As a major influence on the world of rock as well as the blues, John talks about the connections between the two. Rock ain't nothing but the blues. Everything they do is taken from the blues. When you listen to rock, the words, what they're saying, it's saying the same thing I'm saying. It's got them a different phrase. No, I don't know. They, 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 they do a lot of, do a lot of my, my stuff, and I get paid for it. I'm not, I'd be glad to see them do it. Like uh, they did one brother, one scotch. Did you enjoy it? good? He really made it big on that one. And uh, uh, this uh, boom, boom, they made that really big. You heard that one? Didn't you? They really made that big, and they, and they make that big to make my pocket fat. You know? While Hooker may appreciate rock groups performing his songs, he also feels that the heavy promotion of rock and other more commercial forms of music limits the exposure blues artists deserve. Record come that the, they're trying to push the fast stuff. It's rock and disco. Millions of people want to hear the blues. Would listen to them, but you, but you, but you, you can't hear what they ain't playing. You know? Radio just don't play them, so the kids don't get a chance. All they they share them the stuff down, all the other garbage down their throats. They're just brainwashing them, you know. Once a year, you don't hear from him no more because he can't come back. But if I never make another record, you can, you can always hear about John Lee Hooker, Muddy Waters, Lightning Hopkins. I'm living in a memory, in a memory, memory. Memory, the bad and gone. But the blues are still here, it's gonna, they're gonna be here no matter what. Generation come in, the blues still gonna be here. They did the thing that never died. <laughs> 